I want to start this little talk with a warning. If you're happy with your belief system, if your religion gives you joy and peace and certainty after death, please do not watch this video because it will be very unsettling to you. I'm going to give you some raw facts in this video that will pull away all of the surface issues and get to the heart of what God is saying in the Bible. And if you're very content with your belief system, I don't want to rock your boat. You, this, you will find this very upsetting. So turn off the video if you're content with the belief system you have. All right, I gave you your chance. Now what I want to do is read a statement from John's Gospel, chapter 8 and verse 24. It's Jesus speaking, and he says, Therefore I said to you that you will die in your sins, for if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. I want to tell you up front, that every belief, every philosophy, every religion that does not focus on Jesus as the Savior of the world is bankrupt. There is no hope outside of Christ. There is no other way of salvation. In fact, other religions don't even offer a way of salvation. The Atom Improvement Society is the oldest society in the world, and it's never worked a day. People who are trying somehow to manufacture their own salvation will find in the end nothing but hopeless despair. Now, millions of people around the world, from all different belief systems and backgrounds, atheists, you name it, they have come to a place in their life when they realize that all of their efforts fall short, not only of God's standards, they don't even come up to their own standards. They can't even keep their own New Year's resolutions. Any attempts at self-improvement always end up disappointing us. And what God is offering is a radical rescue operation in which he has invaded our world. He has taken over the project. And instead of saying what I want is turning over a new leaf, he says, I want to give you a new life. Instead of the idea that man is reaching up to heaven, God says, I'm reaching down to you. Instead of the idea that somehow by my own effort I can edge my way closer and closer to possible salvation. God says, I want to give you salvation as a complete package, all done, signed, sealed, and delivered, so that you can say, I know I have eternal life. The difference between God's offer in Christ and all the religions of the world cannot be overestimated. There is nothing like it anywhere else. And so when you've tried every other faith, every other belief system, every other philosophy, and you come to Christ, you realize instantly, by comparison, that what God is offering you is totally radical. You know what he's saying? He's saying, your case is so hopeless, so bad, so irrecoverable, that the only solution I can think of is to execute you and start over with a whole new life. That's what the cross is. Jesus had no need of dying for himself. Christ died for our sins. What that means is, that when God looks at the cross, he says, that's where you ought to be. That's where I ought to be. The only solution is 
to condemn you and execute you. Thankfully, he did it in my substitute. Jesus died in my place. That means that's the death I deserve to die. But God says, instead of you dying that death, I will provide my own son and he will die that death for you. But that's not all. He then will conquer death, rise from the grave, and offer to you his own life. The gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. This is why it's so aggravating when I hear people saying that Christianity is a comparative religion. Compared to what? Is there any other religion that says you are so incorrigible that the only solution is for you to die and rise from the dead? That's what God says. That you need to have your life replaced with a whole new life, a whole new beginning, the very life of God offered to us in Christ. So, I know this is shocking. This is not self-improvement. This is not stiff upper lip, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. This is not performing religious rituals. This is God saying, I have only one solution to your problem. Let's just start all over again. I'll give you a whole new life. In order to receive that life, you have to stand with God in condemnation against what you have become through sin and accept what you can become through Christ. And if you accept that, God says, your today will be the beginning of a whole new life, a life in fellowship with God, a life with the resources of the Holy Spirit, a life lived based on the promises that he gives in his word, a life redeemed by the precious blood of Christ, a life bound for heaven, as sure of heaven as if you were already there. No wonder this is disconcerting to people. I tell you, I was speaking years ago, and a priest kept objecting to everything I said. He kept interrupting me. And finally I said to the students, you understand why this man is upset. Never forget it was the priest that crucified the Lord Jesus. If you have a store and you're selling a product, and I'm standing out in front of the store giving away the product for free, you're out of business. This man is trying to sell you salvation in installments. You keep doing enough and we'll give you little bits of salvation and hopefully in the end you'll have enough bits to get you into heaven. And I'm saying no, you can have salvation as a free gift in its entirety and be sure of heaven at this very moment. That's why he's upset. Because religion is a business that requires you to keep coming back for more. But Christ says no, when I give you I give you everything all at once. I give you myself and everything I am and have. And in that moment, you pass from death into life, eternal life. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the most wonderful news in the world. <laughs>